Another um, integral question. Let's start with part A. I'm going to do it by the side here. The integral of tan squared x. Is tan squared one of the standard integrals that we need to know? No, it isn't. Can I use the product rule uh, the, uh, or anything of that nature or a substitution? Not really. What you can do is you should know that 1 plus tan squared x by a trig identity is equal to sec squared x. So I can, I can write the integral of tan squared x, therefore, with respect to x, as actually the integral of sec squared x, subtract 1, with respect to x. Now, the integral of sec squared is in the formula booklet. It's tan x. And the integral of 1 is x. So this is subtract x plus c. And we're done for that first part, part a. OK, so I'm just going to write this in here as tan x, subtract x, plus c. And I'm going to rub this out so I've got space for the other parts. OK, next, show that the integral of tan x is equal to ln sec plus c. So the integral of tan x with respect to x, well, tan, we can write that as sin x over cos x. Now, is the top the exact differential of the bottom? Well, the differential of cos x is negative sine, so make that a negative, and then multiply outside by negative 1, so as you're not changing it. Then we have an exact logarithmic answer, so it's negative ln of cos x plus c, and you can bring the negative up, so it's ln of cos x uh, to the minus 1 plus c, and cos x to the power of minus 1 is actually ln uh, sec x, cos to the minus 1 is sec, plus c, and we're done for the next part. So we've got our 7 marks so far. OK, let's keep going with this. Then we have a curve, and the curve is x to the half tan x, and figure 1 shows part of the curve, and the, the shaded region is bounded by the x-axis and the line x is pi by 3, so here x is equal to 0 and here x is equal to pi by 3. Show that the volume of revolution is as such. So the formula for the volume is pi, the integral of y squared dx. Okay, so the volume is going to be pi, the integral between 0 and pi by 3. Now, let's square this. If I square that, I get x, x to the half squared is just x, tan squared x with respect to x. Now, how can I integrate the following? Well, what I can do is I can actually do this as a, as a product or as a, a integration by parts, where this here is my u and this is my v dashed. Can I differentiate this? Yes. Can I integrate tan squared? Well, look, I've done it in part a. So yes, in theory, I can. So, let's have a go at this. Um, if my u was equal to x, u dash would be 1. If my v dash was tan squared x, then by part a, v must be tan x subtract x. Okay? So, let's try this integral. So, what we're going to do, we're going to work out the integral of x tan squared x with respect to x. It's uv, so it's going to be x tan x subtract x, subtract u dash uh, v, which is going to be these two, so it's going to be subtract the integral of tan x, subtract x with respect to x. Now, this here, I could write this as x tan x, subtract x squared, um, and this here, can I actually integrate this, subtract? Well, the integral of tan x, I've just showed this is ln sec, so this is ln sec x, and uh, subtract a half x squared, okay, which I could tidy up as x tan x, subtract x squared, subtract ln sec x plus a half x squared. I can do a bit of tidying up here because I've got negative, I've got negative x squared here plus a half x squared, so that's negative half x squared. So I'm going to have x tan x, negative, subtract a half x squared, subtract ln sec x. Okay, so 
That's my integral. Now let's actually go on and do this volume question. The volume is pi, uh, and then this integral here evaluated between 0 and pi by 3. So it's going to be pi x tan x, subtract a half x squared, subtract ln sec x between 0 and pi by 3. Okay, so let's put in, uh, let's keep the pi there, and let's put in pi by 3. Okay, this will be pi by 3 times tan of pi by 3. Tan of pi by 3 is root 3. So this is going to be root 3 pi over 3. Put in pi by 3 here, and I'm going to get pi squared over 9. So subtract pi squared over 18. And put in pi by 3 here. Well, sec, uh, sec x is 1 over cos x. Cos of pi by 3 is a half. So 1 over half is 2, so this is going to be subtract ln 2. And subtract the answer when I put 0 in. If I put 0 here, I get 0. 0 here, I get 0. If I put 0 in here, 1 over cos 0 is 1, and ln 1 is actually 0. So all of that is 0. Okay, so let's keep the pi there. Let's leave that now as root 3 pi over 3, subtract pi squared over 18. Uh, subtract ln 2. And how does it want it in the question? Well, let's multiply pi by everything. So let's get root 3 over 3 pi squared, subtract pi cubed over 18, subtract pi ln 2. Thankfully, this pi ln 2 matches that pi ln 2, and I'm right in that regard. What can I do next? Well, out of this, this section here, I could factorize, I could divide everything by pi squared and 18. Okay, so what would I have left here? There'd be no pi squared. Dividing by an 18th is the same as times in by 18. So it'd be 18 root 3 over 3, which is 6 root 3. Take away, uh, I'd have a pi here, subtract pi, learn 2. And I think that's exactly as it has in the question it is. And so I'm done.